Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Wolverine the Jungle Adventure. Alright, so this is really cool. This came out during a time when these, uh, Marvel called them bookshelf, DC called them prestige format. They're basically one shots, um, 48 to like 64 pages, um, better, um, quality paper, kind of thicker, like it's got, it's not stapled, it's got like an actual like binding here. So this is early Marvel work from uh, Mike Mignola, written by Walter Simonson and inked by Bob Wiacek. The cover is very cool. Um, I love looking at Mike Mignola's old superhero work. Of course, we all know him from Hellboy and like the amazing stuff he puts out. So this is kind of fun to look at stuff like this. So this is uh, Walter Simonson writer, Mike Mignola penciler, Bob Wiacek inker. Ken Brusenak, letterer, and Mark Chiarello is the colorist. Mark Chiarello is an amazing artist unto himself. Um, I believe he was the art director director at DC for a while. Um, he to, he painted that Wonder Woman centric Justice League graphic novel. Something I, I keep wanting to say Party of One, but that's not it. But maybe you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Google it. But anyway, I love this image here. This is taken from the book, but that's like cool design action going on here. And of course, Mike Mignola is so known for his uh, amazing use of like negative space and blacks and silhouettes. And we got a lot of that action going on here. I just think it's really cool to take uh, Walter Simonson um, who's normally known for, you know, being an artist. I mean, he's written plenty, but usually he writes for himself, I would think. So it's always cool when another artist writes for an artist. So this is just like a fun, like adventure in the Savage Land. And I feel, oh, this is so, this is a far cry from Rocket Raccoon where, uh, Mike Mignola started out, which was also a fun book, though. I mean, it's fun to see, like, an artist has grown and developed so much over his career. And very cool dinosaur. I love it. Like, just his use of silhouettes just creates so much mood. I mean, that's such a creepy-looking T-Rex for for not even being able to see it, really. Spoilers. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, this is just like a fun, this could be like a Wolverine action movie. They should adapt this. Why not just do like a fun, great, like Wolverine story? I mean, come on, Wolverine in the Savage Land, Wolverine fighting dinosaurs. Marvel, like, you. why don't you just get on the stick and get down with that because, uh, you might as well just start printing money in that case. I mean, who doesn't want to see? And then you've got Apocalypse out of nowhere for no reason. Well, I mean, he's the main villain of the book, so I guess he's there for a reason. But some weird looking creatures. You can always count on Mike Mignola to put some fun stuff like that in there. Wolverine's brown and orange costume. The costume, it's probably my favorite costume, the one I most associate him with, because that's the one he had during my big time reading the X-Men. The artist is so great, and the colors really great job to complement it very well. I like that this is just, a, like, a good quality production. I can only imagine like being the editor or being in the office and just seeing these pages come in. Totally need to adapt this. This is so cool. Mike Mignola, Walter Simonson, Wolverine, Apocalypse, Savage Land, Nuff Said. Anyway, thanks so much for taking a look with me. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and I'll bring you more content later. All right, thanks guys.